What's good, R&B squad? This is Heart of Ruth. I trust that this message meets you guys in good spirits. If you're new here, welcome. We don't believe that you're here by accident. We're happy to have you, and Jesus is, of course, always happier. I have two separate messages. They can be for different groups of people, or they can be for the same people, okay? In the spirit, I heard the words, Are you ready for bigger and better? I heard those words very clearly. Are you ready for bigger and better? And then the Lord took me to the first book of John, chapter 2, verse 16, and that reads, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of this world. So for whoever this part of the message is for, the Lord is getting ready to bless you with bigger and better. Some of the things that he's going to bless you with are material things. So you may be living currently in an apartment. He may be getting ready to bless you with your own home. And it may be a nice home, a spacious home, okay? He may be getting ready to bless you with a new car. He may be getting ready to bless you with a lot of material things. However, the Lord is saying that in the face of these blessings, stay grounded. Because the minute you start putting too much emphasis on what he's giving to you and too much emphasis on your material gain and your material possessions, you are no longer in the place that he wants you to be. Because now you're worshiping the blessing and not the blesser. So be careful of that. Once your blessings start to roll in, do not forget that you're supposed to be focused on the blesser and not the blessing. All right? That was for one person or for a group of people. This other message is for a man, and it can also be for a woman. You can just flip it. I was shown a woman in the spirit. And the woman that I was shown, she was making a couple very big decisions, important decisions. But every time she was about to make these important moves and these important decisions, she always paused to think about this man who was her kingdom spouse. So this is the way the Lord interpreted it to me. First of all, he took me to Proverbs chapter 31, verse 12. I'm reading from the Amplified Bible. She comforts, encourages, and does him only good and not evil all the days of her life. And then he took me to Proverbs chapter 31, verse 30. Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Now here's the thing. If this is you, if you're a woman listening to this, this is the heart that you have towards your kingdom spouse, if you already know him. And if you don't, this is the heart that you're going to have towards your kingdom spouse. You don't mean him any harm. You only mean him well. And it shows in your actions, or it will show in your actions. And because of that, the Lord is saying that you're ready for marriage, because this is what a wife should be. All right? And if you're a man, and you're wondering how your kingdom spouse feels about you, and if you can trust her, this is how she sees you. She will not, I'm telling you, the woman that I saw in the spirit, refuse to make any important moves or decisions without considering how it would affect this man who was her kingdom spouse, okay? This woman is not going to make any big moves unless she considers how it's going to affect you first, okay? So if you already know her, if you're a man listening to this and you already know who your kingdom spouse is, this is her heart towards you. She has the heart of the Proverbs 31 woman. She has a heart to do you good and not harm all the days of your life. And if you're waiting for the Lord to bring your wife to you, this is who your wife is going to be for whoever this word is for. I pray that this word bless someone and I will be back with another word as soon as the Lord releases me. Take care.